In this video you are going to learn about the UI and the presets, how to save and import a file and how to playtest and publish a map. The editor is in the top right of the screen. To start you usually want to press on quick start. Once you go on to quick start you will see a starting platform and a character here. Regarding controls, you can look at all of them here. There are also keybinds that allow you to be faster. You select something with le left mouse button, you look around while holding down right mouse button, you move around using WASD, Q and E, and if you go with shift, you can go faster. I would recommend changing the speed here, increasing the sprinting speed and just keeping the normal one like it is. For example, here I have 100 for normal and 500 for sprinting. You can go for sprinting even higher if your map is big. Shortcuts I usually use are Shift C to make something not collidable and Shift V to make something invisible. Also, if you press X, you can search for all the different things, for example a ladder, and then you can click on it and then here you have a ladder. So by pressing X we will add a cube. If you press 1 you have this screen. If you press 2 you can rotate something. If you press 3, you can change its size. Those are also on the top here. If you have rotated an object, you might want to go to local that you can move it in its respective ways. If you activate face selection, it will remove certain sides of something, which is good to reduce lag. With the group selection, you have to click on several objects, then remove group selection again, and then you can move them all in one. You can also use Shift R to duplicate an object. I will be going over the top and the left things. Everything that's on the right here will be mostly covered in the next video. For the edit, you've got undo, redo, and delete. You can just press backspace for deleting. Here you also have the settings. These settings are for the editor only, not for in-game. I would recommend keeping these all at default. If you have trouble rotating objects, set it to 45 degrees. This allows you to rotate, for example, signs really easily. Otherwise it would be nearly impossible. For objects, you have basic things like cubes, ramps, cylinders and such things. For models, you have things like crates, trees and cars. For tools you've for example got a camera position, with this you can set the spectator view. You've also got things like boost pads or other things like leaderboards. Then you've got lights, different light things, you can experiment with them. Then you've got the zones, in the zones you've got spawn points, score zones, death zones, all those things. They're very useful. I'm gonna be covering all of those things in a future video. A placeholder is very useful, you, it already always spawns where you are at. If you stretch it and then you press on group create, then you have the objects that were in it in a group and you can move them together. You can also stop a group or stop all of them. You can also use custom assets, for example this water tower that someone made and uploaded. Components. The environment contains the sky, for example. Here you can change your color. I usually use gradient because it leaves me with more variety. For example, having the sky here white and the bottom black. You can also change the cloud texture. If you go over to light, you can change uh, the distance of the light and also how intense it is. So if this here would be, for example, really, really dark or really bright, you can also change the angle from where the sun shines and where the light comes from. You got also the uh, resolution of the shadows, you don't really need that, but here you've got the fog, you can change it to like zero, then you can't see anything, or like really high, then you can't see over the whole map. You can also go and create a terrain. This would, for example, be something like this. One thing you can add is an ocean. I, for example, use this in one of my maps. It lags though, so I would not really advise you using it. It looks really cool, but it's it lags. I mean, look, it looks really cool, but it lowers your FPS while playing a lot. One thing you could use instead is, for example, you go to Object, Basic, and then here to Liquid, and then you've got Liquid that you can change the settings of. For example, I made a little water ocean here. 
This might not look as good, but it definitely generates way less lag. Let's come over to the left side. Here you've got your name, here you can add a, a welcome message and also a mod that you wanna might use. Here you've got the dev height, I would usually uh, keep that quite low unless you want the people to die there. I would recommend using a death zone instead. All of these things are things that you would usually change in a server preset, like the game modes, the server size, always put it to 20 by the way please. Also put the timer to zero and also you can configure all the weapons and classes and choose which classes can play. So to save you go here to save project and then your files are gonna pop up and you want to save a txt file somewhere on your PC where you're gonna store your maps at. Once you've opened your editor on another day, you can just open the file and drag it in. Just drag and drop and then the map will be here. You can also import, but I like the drag and drop more. Playtesting. Here is a big difference between the browser and the client version. I would generally recommend using the browser editor because yeah of the things I'm just going to show you. This here is the client so if you click on the left one you will open a little window in which you can just play. This will affect nothing you're not logged into your account but you can you can test around a little bit. In this version things like triggers will not work so that means you would want to go on the middle one. This straight up closes your editor, so you always have to save before, and opens up just a server host. And then you can host and you're logged in and all of those. Triggers and stuff works here. The browser does it way better. If you go on the left one, you just open another tab and have a similar thing, but it's just way smoother and cleaner. As you can see, you've got the full screen and those things. If you want to host the map, it's also gonna open a new tab so you don't have to save it every time and reopen it. So that's the reason I recommend editing on browser so you can just start the game and host it in a different tab. For publishing just publish a game, select a thumbnail that is quite small, choose a category and also the name from earlier and then just publish. I hope this was a helpful first episode, if you have any further questions write them in the comments and I will add them into my next video. Goodbye, have a good day.